This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. This is Edit Station 1. Today I'm hosting the show because Mark is an overrated douchebag. This is Legendary Wings on the NES. One of these days I'm just gonna throw that computer in the garbage, but not until after I've properly reviewed. One of the best NES games in existence, this is Capcom's Legendary Wings from 1988. Ah, I'm being eaten by a giant mouth and being transported from a Capcom game into a Konami one! W what is this, Life Force? It sounds like a Capcom game, but it kinda looks and plays like a Konami one. You know what this background could use? More hearts, brains, and tongues. This is a kick-ass vertically scrolling shooter with some side-scrolling parts that get you bonus points and keep an eye out for the lucky! Where you'll score some piles of gold and much-needed power-ups. This game is pretty cool. I've heard about it for years, never played it until now. It actually reminds me a lot of Namco's Dragon Spirit or Xevious. You shoot air targets and bomb ground targets. It looks like a Konami game, but it sounds like Bionic Commando, so it's like the best of everything. Legendary Wings may feel like a few different games mixed together in a giant blender, but that being said, it tastes great. Even if it suffers from a lot of enemy repetition and predictable gameplay, it's just enjoyable and it's cool. The devil is waiting for us in the palace. Rush, courageously! Normally, I would run the other way, cowardly, but what I really think they meant to say is that one of the end bosses from Gradius is waiting to be destroyed. Always aim for the exposed brains when you have a chance. We have cleared this area! Four areas are still to be clear! Oh, I think there's a typo there. I love typos. I also like the backgrounds and the visuals in Legendary Wings. For an 8-bit era shooter, it's a cool game. It doesn't even cost all that much, and it kinda reminds me of Gainug on the Sega Genesis. But yes, you will encounter the same enemies and patterns over and over again. The same dragon, and pretty much the same end bosses, but... It's still really likable. It's just a likable game. You collect power-ups, which increase your laser strength and bomb speed if you get five or more. You get Phoenix Power, which is awesome. Hey, wait a second. Didn't I kill this dragon before? No, no, because this one is blue. So Legendary Wings is trying to do a lot of things at once. You'll see the same enemies over and over again, the same backgrounds with different color palettes. It's not as good as Gradius or Life Force, but it's still a great NES game. It's even got one or two player gameplay and definitely packs a challenge after a while. What I'm most disappointed about with Legendary Wings is not the game at all, it's the fact that Capcom hasn't made any more of them. We have a thousand Resident Evil games and Street Fighter games, but only one Legendary Wings. There's something wrong with that. Because, look at it, it's a cool game, and if you're collecting for the NES, I recommend it. I've also got a classic game room. Shout out and thank you to send... All the way to Mary in Westbrook, Maine. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for sending Legendary Wings. Now, somebody needs to work on sending Legendary Wings 2 on the Dreamcast. Which, as far as I know, doesn't exist yet. 
Hey Capcom, get to work, because there's demand for more legendary wings. I would buy two copies. <laughs>